three, two, one. All right, I am here with Harlan Hill. Hi, guys. Where's here? Well, we had the opportunity to get a bunch of different places in Manhattan. Where are you? You gotta stand behind Yo, me. Oh, All right, here we are, here we go. So this way we keep them in there. Stand behind me like that. All right, so we had uh, an opportunity to get a bunch of different places in Manhattan, but we decided against that. And there's a couple of reasons why we decided against that. First of all is because it's the same old, same old, right? So we don't want to be Fox News. We don't want to try to be CNN or Newsmax or any of these other places that all try to look the same. And we took, we, we sat down and we said to ourselves, wait, what has really worked? And of all the times, I mean, this sort of points back to me a little bit, you know, I've had my own television show, I've been on Fox News a hundred times, you name it, but I've never gotten the sort of response that we have since doing the walk-in talks and just really bringing things down to a normal level. No pomp, no circumstance, no fancy this and fancy that, and you guys really seem to have responded. So I went to Harlan after looking at all these different expensive places in Manhattan that were costing like $20,000 a month, and I said, look, Harlan, why don't we just get a little tiny office in Manhattan and then get a different place to build the studios, get a different place to, to really do a you know, sort of operation from. And he said, well, what are you thinking? I said, well, let me go to somewhere and take a bunch of pictures and I'll get back to you on that. So what I did was I went to what's called the Gold Coast, Gold Coast of Long Island. And I looked for what I thought would be a mansion on a big, huge property. So this way we could still do walk and talks out in the street, or in this case, out in the nature. And we could just really have the most interesting sets in the world. And so what we did is we found a place that is just perfect to our needs and costs a fraction each month than it would if we were in Manhattan in one of these stuffy buildings. So we're going to show you around and you're going to be totally impressed, right? All right, it starts off here. Here is this massive kitchen, and we will be doing, I don't know, a morning show or something where Harlan something. is gonna be cooking, right? Uh, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be cooking, all right? So we're gonna go through and show you this thing, all right? And I'm gonna try to do this the best I can. I'm gonna show you, you go through the hallways, all right? You got your front door here, and then you got your massive staircase. All right, we'll start off upstairs, believe it or not. Let's do that. So this place is, I mean, it's like a maze. It's huge. And so what we plan on is each one of these places is gonna wind up being a bedroom slash office, right? I mean, there is a bathroom everywhere you go. And then you lead into another bedroom. If you're getting lost, so are we. Then there's like a secret stairway down there, but we'll go back to that later. <laughs> Right? So now we we'll keep on going. Make sure I don't lose Harlan because you, you can lose him in this kind of place. <laughs> Every room has a bathroom in case you need that sort of thing. And then we've got another room here, another bedroom. Leads into a bathroom. All right? And then it turns around and shares into this bedroom. Yeah. All right. And then from there, we have a third floor. When we go up to this third floor, you're still with me, right? Oh, yeah. All right, third floor, and you got another room, all right? And then of course, if we need any storage, or if we have to trap any Democrats, not, not Harlan, not Harlan. No, not me. Not, not Harlan. <laughs> we can put them in there. I'm sure there's some probably animals or something there or something. So anyway, so far you're probably saying like, DML, what are you gonna do with this? Trust me. So. I don't know if we showed you all upstairs, but I think you get the point. It's so huge. So we'll go down the main stairs. See him right there. Come with me. Okay. We're gonna go this way. First thing we have is this unbelievable, huge living room, which we're gonna turn into a studio. studio. Okay. Then we walk into this room, and this, this is gonna be yours truly's office, right there. And we'll show you what I'm gonna look at later, that's really cool. Then there's always this room, which goes out of a bathroom into this room. It's getting a little nauseous yet? I mean, there's so many rooms. Then this room, I really don't understand who was thinking about this, but it's a pink room, and this is the master bedroom, and this is where yours truly is going to spend a lot of time, <laughs> because he's gonna live here, pretty much. And uh, Mrs. Lynch and the others will come with me when appropriate. Um, 
Harlan will be staying here many nights, I'm sure, instead of traveling back to New York. Okay, so now, oh wait, didn't want to forget this room. This is actually the dining room, which we are going to make into a conference room. All right, so now you go back in. All right, here comes the fun stuff. Although I do have to show you this kitchen again for all you ladies watching. I mean, it's huge. check that out. You know what I'm saying? It's huge. We're gonna have a great show in there every single day. Now, here's what got me. When I saw this place, this is what got me. This is gonna be our studio. And as you can see, it's two, two floors wide open. We got beautiful French doors. We got seats that are inside the window. I mean, what we do with this place is gonna be insane. Then we've got the whole TV set up in here. We're gonna have sofas. We're gonna do a whole show where we're sitting on sofas and where Holland and I and, and Scarlett and others, we're all gonna wind up interviewing whoever our guest is via satellite right in there. I mean, it's gonna be incredible. And we're gonna have little different stations throughout, which are gonna basically be different spots. Scarlett, uh, uh, Scar Scarlett will have something for her show. I'll have something for mine. Harlan will have something for his. And you're gonna be like, wow, is that cool? So now you go up these stairs here, all right? When I saw this, I was like, this is what we need. This is what we need. All right, so you go up these stairs and you can see from the overhang, that's a great camera shot. We're gonna have overheads like that. Overhead cameras, pretty good. And I'm talking right now to the guy who did all my movies with me to come here and control this. This will be the entire control room where all the people sitting there doing the editing and the cameras and stuff. And of course, if you have to go to the bathroom or you feel like taking a shower at your work, you can do that. And this is going to be our newsroom. And our newsroom is going to be filled with basically what you would expect to see at a newsroom. It's simply amazing, this place. Let me see if I could give you a good shot from back here. You can see it all flows into the one. Kind of funky uh, wallpaper, but I like that it. it shows uh, old world, right? I like it. Yeah. 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 And then of course, if you want to hang out, you've got a balcony out here and you go out to the balcony. But I don't want to show you outside just yet. We're gonna go out there. You're gonna be really impressed with this place. So anyhow, we feel as if we could continue to not only provide the most amazing news and information out there, especially on the app, we're kicking butt when you take how fast we're putting up stuff versus the other places. But this studio right here, I'll show you from this perspective. Let me see if I can go around. Nice and slow, you can see it. Yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of different sets in here. And then again, going into that kitchen, you know, that's gonna be fantastic. Our own little morning show, right? Check it out, here we go. And just so this way you know, Landlord is a Trump fan. <laughs> yeah, couldn't get any better. So it was a realtor. Okay, now, you have come accustomed to the walk-in talks. And I know how much you enjoy them. I know how much I enjoy them. Harlan loves doing them. And so when I came here and said, whoa, my goodness, and so in terms of just being inside and creating studios, we're gonna have the ability to continue with our walk-in talks. Why, DML? I'll tell you why. Because although it's hard to tell today with the snow coming down, oh, by the way, let me just tell you this. See this place here? That's gonna be our studio in the summer times where we'll be able to actually do it from outdoors. But here's the killer. And unfortunately, half of it, if not most of it right now, is covered up by the falling snow. But this property, which is about seven acres big, is located on its own lake. And so you can see that the lake, right in the middle here, is covered by snow. But there's the ducks on the lake. I don't know if I've got it right or not. Yeah. But you can see. And all it is is nature all in the back. So walk-in talks are going to be pretty incredible. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to show you why it would be the greatest place to work. And that is because on lunchtime, Holland here yeah. is going to be wearing his Speedos. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spare you that. You're going to be on his I'll speedos. I'll spare you that. Yeah. He may actually be talking to you about why it is that Democrats are dying at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Kidding about that, obviously. All right? Because I made sure that my employees 
have a swimming pool for their lunch breaks. And then of course we've got another building over here and that is another whole facility which yes is on our property. And then on top of that because I want all the people who work for us and their kids to have a great time and come here and feel as if it's the greatest place they've ever been on. Check out this treehouse. If you're a kid, tell me you don't like this treehouse. It's actually yeah. built into the tree. So you tell me. You want to watch CNN fake news? <laughs> you want to watch Fox News? Shouldn't hit these guys too bad because yeah. Harlan's on I these guys. On them. He still goes on them. <laughs> Harlan go on them. I'm not going to slam them too bad. <laughs> or you can take a look at how it is that the that the that the news is going to completely change the way it's delivered. And you want to know why? We're inviting you in to our home, so to say. Right? No more fancy schmancy studios with fake plastic. Real, real, real. That's all it is. So, we're going to wind up here. 11 minutes. Uh, that's what our walk and talk is today. Sorry about the delays. The problem that we do have here at this place is that our, uh, our cell service wasn't strong enough to give us a, a Facebook Live feed. Uh, but we're going to fix that very shortly. So, one more time. Take a look at my... My, my young boy this here. This is history. <laughs> this is history. This is going to be, people are going to try to copy this. Yes. They're going to try to copy it. But they can't copy Harlan Hill. <laughs> or DML. Oh, yeah, well, they can copy me. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, until, oh, when is it all going to be, DML? That's the question I'm going to get. When's it all going to be? When's it all going to be? Well, today's our first day in here. Harlan and I are going to move in some equipment that I have. Uh, we're going to be doing that for pretty much the next week. And then, um, I don't know, I think we'll probably start broadcasting pretty soon, yeah. pretty soon. Start filling this place up slowly but surely. Even if it starts off where I'm just broadcasting him yep. and he's just broadcasting me, <laughs> we will have this thing down. But I mean, look how cool this thing is, huh? huh? Wait until you see this is all. And for those of you who donated, uh, I can't tell you how much we appreciate. Uh, I know this looks like it's probably costing a fortune, but believe me when I tell you, it's less than half of what we would have had to spend at, um, in Manhattan. And for a little tiny place that we would have grown out of, this is never gonna bind up, we're not growing out of this at all. Um, so anyhow, um, it's now our new home and it's your home too. Thank you so much, till tomorrow, God bless you. God bless our troops. God bless the United States of America. God bless this handsome kid behind me. And God bless everybody who donated to DML. Can't say thank you enough, thanks. News a hundred times, you name it but I've never gotten the sort of response that we have since doing the walk and talks and just really bringing things down to a normal level. No pomp, no circumstance, no fancy this and fancy that. And you guys really seem to have responded. So I went to Harlan after we're looking at all these different expensive places in Manhattan that were costing like $20,000 a month and against that. And there's a couple of reasons why we decided against that. First of all is because it's the same old, same old, right? So we don't want to be Fox News. We don't want to try to be CNN or Newsmax or any of these other places that all try to look the same. And we took, we, we sat down and we said to ourselves, wait, what has really worked? And of all the times, I mean, this sort of points back to me a little bit. You know, I've had my own television show. I've been on Fox. I said, look, Harlan, why don't we just get a little tiny office in Manhattan and then get a different place to build the studios, get a different place to, to really do, you know, sort of operation from. And he said, well, what are you thinking? I said, well, let me go to somewhere and take a bunch of pictures and I'll get back to you on that. So what I did was I went to what's called the Gold Coast, Gold Coast of Long Island. And I looked for what I thought would be a mansion on a big, huge property. So this way we could still do walk and talks out in the street, or in this case, out in the nature. And we could just really have the most interesting sets in the world. And so what we did is we found a place that is just perfect to our needs and costs a fraction each month than it would if we were in Manhattan in one of these stuffy buildings. So we're going to show you around. Three, two, one. All right, I am here with Harlan Hill. Hi, guys. Where's here? Well, we had the opportunity to get a bunch of different places in Manhattan. Where are you? You gotta stand behind yeah, me. Well, All right, here we are, here we go. So this way we keep him in there. Stand behind me like that. Yeah. All right, so we had uh, an opportunity to get a bunch of different places in Manhattan, but we decided 